I'm pretty sure something like this must have happened to you before. Let's say you were on the front page of a particular website and on that front page, there's a particular section or area whose design you really, really like. Maybe you love the way the text and images are displayed. Maybe you love the way the inner columns and sections are displayed, or maybe it has a certain kind of unique or interesting animation and you wished that you could duplicate something like that on your own website. If you've ever felt this way before, I have great news for you because only a few days ago, Elementor released this brand new feature for their AI. It's called referencing a website and allows you to do exactly that. Basically, it allows you to simply include a link to the page that they're trying to reference and then you can tell the AI the particular area on that page that they're trying to replicate and the Elementor AI will do it for you. I've been testing it for a few hours now and it is fantastic, but before you get all excited, it's not perfect. There are certain limitations and restrictions with it. But what I'm gonna do in this video is I'm gonna walk you through exactly how you can make use of this particular tool, show you the restrictions, but also keep in mind that I will be releasing a full tutorial on how to use all the features for Elementor AI very, very soon. So I'm gonna walk you through how you can generate text, images, custom code, and even containers by making use of the Elementor AI. So if you're interested, be sure to subscribe so that you can get the lesson once I have uploaded it. But now let me show you how you can make use of this brand new tool for the Elementor AI. Let's say for example, I wanted to duplicate this particular section right here on labcyber.com. I love the design, I love the two column layout, everything. I want to duplicate this. What I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go to my Elementor website. Now note that I do have the Elementor AI active. That's why I have the build with AI link right there. I'm gonna click in there, okay? And now from here, I'm gonna click on the plus button and now you'll see reference a website. I'm gonna click in there and now all I have to do is to grab the URL for Lab Cyber and then paste that right there, click on submit. And now the AI is going to fetch, fetch the contents of the page. You can see it's preparing the page, as you can see. And this may take anywhere from five seconds to maybe even 30 seconds, depending on how complicated the particular page is. But you can see right now, it is ready. Now notice that as I am moving my mouse around the website, it's basically highlighting content and I have to be careful in order to select exactly what I want to duplicate. Now, I want to duplicate this entire section right here. So to grab everything, I'm going to move my mouse to the upper left right there. Okay, you can see everything has been highlighted. I'm going to click and now once I've clicked, I'm gonna get the option to now apply, okay? So I'm gonna click on apply and then click on generate. Okay, so now what the AI is going to do is it is going to create three different layouts for the particular section. And in most cases, they'll be very, very, very similar. There might be slight differences like the background color, things like that. But I wanna point out something to you right now, okay? In many cases, the AI will not be able to pull things like the background image or if there's a background video, things like that. You will need to add those on your own. What the AI will do for the most part is it will be able to get the structure, okay, for you. So let's wait and see, okay. Right now you can see we have the three different layouts. This is the first one right here. This is the second one with the white background. And then the third one right here is very, very similar to the first layout, but I'm gonna go with the very first uh, layout right here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna click on use layout, and just like that, we have something very, very similar. So it's not quite perfect. It's not exactly the same as what you see right here. So for the most part, you will still need to do setting editing and clean up on your own, but you can see right now, we're already about 80% through. So rather than me having to spend, let's say one hour, trying to create this entire section from scratch, I can use the AI and from here right now, I'm about 80% done. I can spend the next 20 minutes trying to clean up and do some editing and I'll have something very, very similar to what we have right here. Now, please note that Lab Cyber is built with WordPress and with Elementor because I know this because it is one of my own websites, all right? But how will the AI perform if you're trying to reference or duplicate a website that wasn't built with Elementor or with WordPress. 
I've got two examples right here. I've got one here called flyhire.com. This is a very, very interesting website with a very fantastic web design. So let's try to see if the AI will perform. Let's say I wanted to duplicate this section right here with the three tall columns, right? So I'm gonna grab flyhire.com. Let's go back in here. Let's go back to build with AI. Click on the plus button, okay? Reference the website. And now I am going to paste the link, click on submit. And now, unfortunately, you will notice that the AI does not do a good job at all. Most of the content is missing. And the only thing it was able to pull is the footer right here, as you can see. I'm not quite sure why, I'm not quite sure why this is the case, but I'm guessing it's because there's a lot of animation and some really interesting code behind what we see right here. So I'm guessing when the design is very, very complex, very, very complicated, the Elementor AI will struggle to pull the content. All right, fair enough. Let's try something else, okay? This is another website, superlist.com. Let's say I wanted to grab the footer right here. Again, this is a website that isn't built with WordPress or with Elementor. So let's go back in here. Let me first of all grab the URL superlist.com. Go in here. Uh, let's close this. Let's reference the website again. And I'm going to paste the URL for superlist.com. Click on submit. And okay, so a much better job. You can see that the AI was able to pull all the data in here. Now I'm gonna scroll all the way down here. Now I wanna show you something, okay? This is something that you should be aware of. Notice that when the AI pulled the content, you do have this cookie settings box displayed on the footer, right? However, right here, because I have already visited this site before, you don't see the cookie box showing. However, in this kind of scenario, if you're trying to highlight a particular section, you need to be very, very quick. This is what I mean, okay? I want to highlight the footer, right? So you can see right here, I'm on the upper left right there. Now, if I click right there, and if I wait for like a few seconds, and I then try to like click on apply, it disappears. It's not going to be able to pull that information again. So in this kind of scenario, you have like a box interfering. Right now, it's the cookie settings box. It's interfering with the section we're trying to highlight. What you want to do is this, okay? Very, very, very quickly. Once you've chosen the area you want to highlight, click and then very, very quickly go down there and then click on apply instantly. So that's a tip. So right now you can see that it's ready. I'm gonna click on generate. And now this could take anywhere from like 10 seconds to 30 seconds. Again, it all depends on how complicated the, the section that you're trying to duplicate is. So what I'm gonna do is I'll pause the video and resume once the AI has been able to pull the three different layouts. All right, so welcome back. And as you can see, it has been able to generate three different layouts. The third one here is the closest. And to be honest, it took close to about 90 seconds for the AI to get these three layouts. And to be honest, my internet service has been kind of shitty this past few days. So I'm guessing that's the major reason why it took that long. Hopefully in your situation, it's gonna be a lot faster. But the third layout here is the closest. So I'm gonna click on use layout and that's pretty much it. So again, it's not going to be perfect. It's not exactly what we have right here, but it's close enough. Again, I don't have to build this entire section from scratch. I can simply use the AI. It gets about 80% already done. And then all I will have to do at this point is to make some simple edits, some simple changes, and I can get this done much faster. So that's pretty much it for today's video. The good news here is that this is simply the very first version of this particular tool. Elementor will no doubt improve the feature, and in a few weeks or a few months from now, it's gonna get even better, and we'll, we'll be able to duplicate almost like 100% of what it is that we're trying to uh, duplicate. So that's it for today's video. If you have any questions or comments, put them out in the comment section below. I will answer all of them. Stay tuned for the next tutorial that will cover all the features for Elementor AI. Uh, if you're new here to the channel, welcome. My name is Alex. I make tutorials on Elementor WordPress. If you like this kind of content, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you're notified whenever I upload a new tutorial. It's been a blast creating this tutorial for you. I hope you enjoyed it. Stay safe out there and I'll talk to you next time. Cheers.